As you all may know, the Choctahatchee River is classified as a minor flood, but at the junction of Robert Fattler Park, it's leaving a major mess. Robert Smith was out there earlier and has the story. Tallahatchie River runs through Robert Fowler Park, leaving the junction area submerged in water after the effects of Hurricane Sally. You normally can see the road and the river, but as of now, that's not the case, as it all looks like a giant lake. Residents were caught by surprise. Well, it's usually not as high as the water, and you can pretty much usually see all the way back to the road. and. Not a lot of water. <laughs> Speaking of lots of water, if that's not enough, it's expected to rise. We're going to be rising now. We're at what? We're 25, 28, 30. We're, we're continually rising tonight and into tomorrow until Saturday. According to Eric Johnson, it's been at least two decades since they have seen such a flood. And in 94, we had worse. So 90 and 94 were worse than what you're seeing today. Now, I'll be honest with you, I can't give you, I think we've had a, a time since then, maybe 98 or maybe in the early 2000s where we had this. So you're probably seeing today maybe the fourth worst situation that we've ever had in Geneva. Earlier, officials expected the water levels to reach up to about 35 feet, but now there is somewhat a sigh of relief. From 35 and a half down to 30. 2.7 that's around at 32 and a half. So it's looking like, you know, our levels are lowering instead of high, you know, going higher. So that's a good thing. Covering local news first in Geneva, Robert Smith, WDHN News. Johnson says if you are living in low lying areas, you need to act now and evacuate. Also, he strongly encourages you to stay away from trying to sightsee the flooded areas.